Hi, here in this video, let's discuss the topic Once More to the Lake, which is an essay by E.B. White. The theme of the White's essay is the passage of time and the changes that it brings. White superimposes his childhood experiences on his son's experience and at times blends the two, so it is clear that the narrator is living both his role and his child's role at the same time. Let's look at the summary of the essay. Once More to the Lake by E. B. White. Summary of the essay. Once More to the Lake is an article written by E. B. White that was originally published in 1941. It is about the author's experience traveling back to a lake in Maine where he spent time as a boy. This excursion is a trip down memory lane in which White reminisces about his youth and the lake. And he thoroughly enjoys the experience. In practical terms. He reverts to thinking in a manner consistent with his youth. It is essential for him to undergo this transition in order to derive pleasure from the adventure. The metamorphosis, on the other hand, highlights a transformed perception of the actual lake. For example, rather than seeing the lake in its current state, he sees it through the eyes of his youth. Because of this situation, there is an interesting deviation from reality into what he wants to see based on his experiences when he was younger. Once more to the lake is a depiction of E.B. White's experience as he visits the lake once again. The lake that he has been fond of ever since he was a boy. This particular lake is the lake that is featured in Once More to the Lake. White is brought to the shore of the lake by his experience where he finds himself staring at the same lake, which has not changed significantly. In light of this, we might deduce that White believes there are some aspects of life that remain constant in spite of the shifting landscape around him and the personal development he goes through. Despite the fact that the world is always evolving, White wishes to place an emphasis on the stability of certain aspects of it, or at the very least, the remembrance of certain aspects. White's essay suggests that there have been some changes in things that are distinct from the lake itself. Despite the fact that the lake itself has remained unchanged. For instance, when White arrives at the lakefront, despite his desire to take pleasure in the scene and the experience of being at the lake once again, he finds that the noise of the new boats that are on the lake is somewhat distracting. This is the case even though White wishes to enjoy the experience of being at the lake once again. The newer boats have engines that make more noise. White is going to demonstrate that the technology can be disruptive in his presentation. In spite of the fact that technology has the potential to make processes quicker and more effective, it also has the potential to make things noisier and more distracting. As a result, White places an emphasis on the drawbacks of emerging technologies. Despite this, White continues his story. And it becomes clear that he has a thing for vintage automobiles and motorcycles. This preference dates back to when he was a child. Therefore, despite the fact that he initially sees technology as something disruptive, there is also an emphasis placed on the personal perception factor. This means that White did not like the noise of the new engine and, arguably, did not like the new engine, due to the fact that he wants and expects to see boats with the old engines that he saw in his childhood. Consequently, he did not like the new engine. There are some constants in life. The fundamental idea that nothing stays the same in this world and that every aspect of life is subject to change underpins the fact that everything is in a state of perpetual flux. However, there are certain things that are constant. Such as the thought of a person. The feelings that one has toward other people. The desire for something, and so on. These are examples of things that do not change. It's possible that E.B. White portrays the lake as unchanging. But this could just be his interpretation of the scene. When he visits the lakefront as an adult, the lake itself may have already undergone changes, but he does not experience any shifts in his view of the lake. He continues to enjoy what he sees and how he feels. When he experiences the lake, it takes him back to his younger years, and the sensation of being at the lakefront puts him back to those years. 
It is possible that White's actual experience of the lake as an adult is tainted by the fact that he switches between having the perceptions of an adult and those of a boy. Given that White demonstrates that his perceptions truly alter between those of an adult and those of a boy. Therefore, it is possible that the actual lake that he returns to has already changed, but his vision as a youngster does not alter. Which makes it appear as though the lake has not changed at all. Additionally, the innovation that he is referring to, which comes in the shape of newer engines that produce more noise, may have been influenced by such a shift in his opinions as well. It's possible that the newer, noisier boats don't cause as much trouble as they seem to. It's simply that he was used to the older, quieter models, which made his assertions feel more intimate, even if they weren't exactly based in reality. The lake that appears in E.B. White's story is meant to represent the significance of physical environments in personal growth. For instance, the essay demonstrates that the lake is used as a location for interactions between members of the author's family, particularly in the author's past. In this context, the lake acts as a setting for introspection and contemplation. For example, when White returns to the lake, it paves the way for him to reflect on how he has grown and evolved. The lake encourages him to reflect on the past and have a deeper comprehension of the circumstances surrounding him. In his essay Once More to the Lake, E.B. White provides additional evidence for the notion that a certain degree of constancy is required in one's existence. In spite of the fact that the lake has evolved over the course of time, it is still a lake that the author is able to visit. It serves as a constant reminder of the adventures he had as a child. In this aspect, the lake illuminates the importance of having some degree or form of permanence in one's life and the benefits that come with it. A person's psychological growth can be helped to become more stable with the assistance of such permanency. End of the summary. Thank you. Thank you.